I originally auditioned for a totally and entirely different film. Um, and the casting director from that sent it to the casting director for this. And she saw it and she liked it, so she showed it to Ed. And then I heard that, you know, that Ed wanted to meet with me. So I flew back to LA. I was in Toronto at the time. I met with him. We just, we just had fun with it. And then I heard about a week later that I had to fly to Tampa to do a chemistry read with Tom and a table read. Um, so I flew down. I was super nervous because, you know, um, but I flew down. It was, it was just a lot of fun. I saw Jack Reacher for the first time with my dad. Um, and I loved it because of the character of Jack Reacher. You know, he isn't a typical good guy hero. I mean, he's a good guy, but he doesn't really care about rules or, or pleasantries or, you know, he just, he just cares about doing the right thing. And sometimes it's, it's a little comical. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a different, you know, hero. And I, I totally dig that. He's, he's an excellent teacher. Uh, from the beginning, he kind of took me under his wing, I guess you can say. And uh, I came to sit a few times when I wasn't working, just so that way, you know, I could, I could watch, you know, the big action scenes, you know, to see the angles and lighting and camera and all, all, all of that side of filming, because I don't get to experience that. But he wanted to make sure that I saw that and, like, I was learning about that. Um, but, you know, I've, I've always kind of learned being on sets just by watching and observing, but he really makes sure that I'm learning firsthand. Which is, which is awesome, you know, I'm learning from the best. Ed is amazing. I mean, he's just, he's brilliant. Um, I mean, he knows for directing, he knows exactly what he wants. You know, no fussing about, no, let's oh, let's shoot this angle, this angle, this angle, and then you never use it. I mean, he knows, he knows exactly what he wants and how to get it, but he also just gives the actors just total freedom to, to be the character and to breathe life into it. You know, and he knows about, you know, how to get it, and he makes sure that, like, you know, we just have time to play around with it, try each take a little different, and it's just, it's just fun and refreshing. Tom, as a producer, I mean, he just, he really looks out for the film's best interest in every possible way. I mean, you know, he's, well, obviously he's a great actor, but he kind of, he knows everything about every department and he works with them to try and just to create this this great film and like it also helps with the acting because he knows exactly what to do how to do it you know the things with like the stunts and the angles he was teaching me that earlier on because if you know how the camera works and how angles work then getting stunts done like in terms of camera and making it look good you know it just like it comes everything comes hand to hand and he knows all of that because he's just you know, he's interested in that, but it also just helps so much, you know, for the, for the final thing. Patrick as the hunter is just very unsettling. It's just, just creepy, just so wrong. Patrick's, you know, he's a great guy. He's just totally opposite his character, just super funny and, and nice. The sweetest guy. Um, and then him as the hunter is just chills. So why? What is wrong with you? Yeah, that's how I think. Running through the French Quarter during all of the, the parade na madness was insane. Uh, in October, we actually, there was a real Halloween parade that we, you know, got to run through just so that way we could feel what the energy was like and how difficult it actually was, which was super cool. I mean, all of the parade people, you know, the performers and the organizers they knew that we were there but um the audience had no idea and so as we were running and I was sprinting and Patrick was just chasing me they're just like oh what is going on uh and then we recreated that later on I think we had some around 400 extras it was just the energy was insane it was it was so much fun Okay, Star Wars fans, for Return of the Jedi, did you know that Harrison Ford suggested that Han Solo sacrifice his life to save his friends? But George Lucas declined. What do you think? Would it have been a good idea? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. Or for more trailers, click on the playlist.